Hey, what's up guys? Hillary here. And in this video, I'm going to tell you where do I think Bitcoin will be by the end of the year, why the recent bad economic news are actually good news for Bitcoin and for the stock market. And I'm also going to share with you a few charts and one indicator that is my crystal ball to see where Bitcoin and stocks will be in the future. Yes, I have an indicator that I personally call it my crystal ball and you can also use it to predict where the markets will be but let's start by talking about the sham rule recession indicator this indicator basically says that now that we are in a recession and it has been predicting very accurately all the recession since 19 60. Basically, the SAM rule indicates that we are in a recession when the three months moving average of uh, the unemployment rate rises by 0.25% relative to the minimum of the three months average of the previous 12 months. So in other words, if the unemployment rate rises by more than 0.5% considering the 12 months average, then we are technically in the recession, according to this indicator, right? Then we had all another bad news recently, which was the Bank of Japan increasing the interest rates by 0.25%. The rates in Japan have been close to 0% since 1999, for many years. And people used to borrow Japanese yen to buy uh, stocks, to buy securities, to buy uh, crypto, and so on, because the rate was close to zero. Now they are increasing the interest rates and people are selling those stocks, Bitcoin, crypto, and so on to repay the loans. That's what is called the carry trade. And that's one of the reasons why earlier this week, the market was dropping a lot because of this unwinding of these carry trades. Now, I think the market overreacted a little bit and overreacted because people are not thinking about the long-term market correlations. And let me share here what I call the crystal ball. So there is a very important thing, which is the markets, stock markets, crypto markets, and so on, are highly correlated to the M2 money supply, the money supply in the United States. So how much money there is in circulation, right? And the M2 money supply increases when the Federal Reserve decreases the interest rates. All these bad news that include the rising unemployment rate, the fact that the U.S. debt is at all-time high at 130% of the US GDP. Tech companies are reporting underwhelming earnings. So all these things are looming recession. With all these bad news is that the Fed is more likely to decrease the interest rates in September. And they might decrease by 0.25 or 0.5 or 0.75% in order to prevent a recession. And this is why I say that bad news is good news because the, all this fear of recession, this same indicator indicating a recession, rising unemployment rate, consumers are consuming less, tech stocks are reporting uh, lower earnings. All these things together are pressuring the Federal Reserve to cut the interest rates in the, even further. And what happens when they cut the interest rates? Well, when they cut the interest rates, we have a higher M2 money supply. So we will have more money coming to the markets. The M2 money supply measures how much money is in circulation in the US. And we know that Bitcoin and the stock market are highly correlated to the M2 money supply. So basically what we see here, the orange line is the M2 money supply. And when the M2 money supply goes up, Bitcoin goes up. When there is more liquidity in the market, Part of this liquidity goes to investable assets, which includes stock market, includes Bitcoin, includes crypto. So no matter what happens in the economy, no matter what, if we go to recession, if the unemployment rate rises and so on, they will decrease interest rates. They will print more money. They will buy back treasury bonds. And this will put more money, more liquidity in the market, higher M2 money supply. So as you can see here, the correlation coefficient between Bitcoin and the M2 money supply has been 0.79. So this is very clear. If they print money, Bitcoin goes up. And as you can see here, the correlation between Bitcoin and the S&P 500 in the long term is also very high, now at 0.92. So basically, this is what I want to show you. So in the long term, yes, they will lower the interest rates. And this means that they will print more money. And this means that Bitcoin and crypto will go up, no matter what. No matter who wins the elections in the US, it really doesn't matter. Of course, Donald Trump might be a bit more crypto friendly than Kamala Harris or whatever, but it doesn't matter in the long term. 
And the other chart I want to share with you is this little technical analysis I have done. Bitcoin has been in this ascending trend since late 2022, and it has been forming very strong uh, support levels, okay? So recently, when uh, Bitcoin dipped because of the Japanese carry trade, it took here this lower bottom and automatically bounced back, right? So what I see is that Bitcoin will continue these regression trends. It will continue within this tunnel over here. And it will continue because different indicators, including Bollinger Bands, CCI, RSI, MACD, at the moment are either oversold or neutral, meaning that the market has room to breathe. Then we have the empty money supply, Fed will decrease interest rates and so on. So everything indicates that Bitcoin will end up the year between 66,000 and 95,000 US dollars. So this is where I think Bitcoin will be by the end of the year. I don't like, like to give like a precise number because 99% of the times that precise number will go wrong, will be wrong. But I like to give a range. And this range, I bet that is going to be between 66 and 95,000. Bitcoin at the moment is 61. Right? All right, guys, I'd love to know where do you think Bitcoin will be by the end of the year and how much do you think the Fed will cut interest rates in September? What's going to happen in the market by the end of the year, it will really depend on the Fed decisions, whether it's going to surprise the market positively or not. Probably the market will drop a lot if the Fed decides not to cut interest rates or only to cut 0.25. I think the general expectation at the moment is 0.5. If they cut even more than that, then it will be amazing for the markets and the market will go up a lot and will have huge positive impact, not only in Bitcoin, but also stock on indexes, S&P 500, NASDAQ, and so on. So let's see where the market goes by the end of the year. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love if you give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.